Alongside Till Worlett from the Oklahoman, I'm Dave Morris here at the Oklahoma City Public Schools board meeting. Uh, they are wrapping up, locking the doors, turning off the lights here shortly. Tim, what are we here tonight? It was a heated meeting. It really, it really was. I think most of the people who were here supporting North Highland did not buy Aurora Laura's explanation that she had never really planned to close North Highland you know, that she had some other ideas in place and that news of the uh, closure uh, leaked a little earlier than she had hoped Wednesday night. And then she kind of backtracked and said closure was, an, was her only option. Tonight she acknowledged that she didn't, impl didn't plan to close the school. As of Wednesday morning, she had decided not to do that. And then news leaked that, that they were gonna close the school. The proposal, but unfortunately um, the message got out before we were able to um, talk even completely about the supports we were already trying to offer. And so as a result, um, I think just some misinformation got out and I want to share that uh, in the aftermath, the one thing that's been really positive is we've had a lot of people step up and offer um, help and assistance. We have been contacted by candidates from um, all over who have been interested in applying for those open positions. We have it was uh, an interesting conversation. Board member uh, Charles Henry and Rebecca Budd, along with uh, Carrie Jacobs, were kind of vocal in their comments about Aurora Laura. It's going to be Monday. If there, whatever this issue about nothing being released, if you didn't know about it, it may have went up to vote. I don't believe that they wanted the community to be involved in it at all. They really were. They, they said that the district has made a lot of promises to uh, that particular school about, you know, needed supports and added staffing and that sort of thing, and that they hadn't delivered on those promises. And, uh, and then uh, Carrie and, and Rebecca, who apparently leaked uh, the information Wednesday night before uh, Aurora had hoped that um, she would be able to discuss it with the board and uh, before she wanted to make a, a formal announcement. So, uh, you know, they were both very vocal. Well, certainly no one was more vocal than Oklahoma City Councilman John Pettis, who stepped up to the mic. Yeah, John is, uh, John's never been accused of, of not being a, <laughs> a, a, a vocal guy, and he, he can project pretty loudly. And tonight he basically, um, he thanked uh, Rebecca Budd for informing the community um, ahead of time because he said otherwise, you know, they probably would have tried to, you know, sneak this through without anybody knowing. But he was, uh, he was very vocal and he, he was criticized Aurora very much. I'm sorry, but the excuse that you all have given is unacceptable. It is truly unacceptable to wait to the last minute to inform the community that you are thinking about closing their school. If this neighborhood was a white neighborhood, Madam Chair, you wouldn't have given that direction. Madam Superintendent, you would not have given that direction. Ms. Rebecca Budd, I say thank you for informing the community what was going on. Uh, we, we rushed really quickly to get a press release out and what we should have said is the other things that we had been working on. Um, I'm going to own that because we had, if we were going to move forward, had prepared to release it on Thursday, Thursday and had not written all the press releases and so part of uh, what we should have done is include the actions and steps we had taken that we were actively working on and that we were still looking for candidates um, because ultimately nobody wants to close a school. We wanted some great candidates to apply. This is reporting that you have done last week and this week about North Highland Elementary that will now stay open. To your understanding, how are they doing this funding-wise? Well, what Aurora said was that they'd worked out a deal with the unions for the principals and the teachers and that they were going to fund uh, bonuses for teachers that would come and agree uh, to teach at North Highland. She said um, that was the biggest stumbling block, that she had made some um, plans to add an assistant principal and a counselor and a couple of uh, um, social workers, which they've never had at the school. And she said the problem was that she could not staff um, 11 teaching positions and the principal position. The principal who was there had been reassigned. So basically they had worked out a deal with uh, the unions to fund a bonus, $3,000 for certified teachers and uh, a 10% raise on top of a principal's salary. You find more reporting from this gentleman, Tim Willard, in the Oklahoma and online at newsok.com. We'll have more clips from tonight's board meeting online at newsok.com as well. Tim, uh, I understand this is the last time the uh, board meeting will be held at this facility. 
It is. Uh, all but a, a couple of departments have moved out of this building. They're, um, they're leaving. They're moving into a new building. It hasn't been uh, uh, renovated yet, so they're, they're kind of spreading around town in different locations, different schools and such. So this is the last regular meeting at 900 North Klein. They've been in this building since 1955. Good stuff, Tim. We appreciate the help. You're welcome. Thanks, Dave.